and joining us live now from the house where he was kept when he arrived in the early hours of this morning is our Deputy Bureau Chief Femi Akonde. Now Femi, do we know where the deposed Emir has been taken to? I know for sure where he was taken to was this out of um, this, this residence where he was kept temporarily. We learned that he arrived here late or early this morning at about 3.40 uh, a.m. I missed a heavy security and he, those security men have been on ground and later uh, today, this afternoon, he was whisked away in a chopper that took him out of uh, here in a uh, local town. But we are hearing that uh, he may be taken to another town within Nasara State uh, because uh, they are putting into consideration his comfort. Looking at uh, the class of uh, Emir Mohammed Sanuti II, the deposed Emir of Kanu, uh, people say this place is not uh, so comfortable and abode uh, for him. But uh, he has been taken out of here. And you know, uh, this, there's been a whole lot of frenzy around this town since the arrival of the Emir. This uh, rather quiet town came alive when the Emir arrived early this morning and people have been hanging around here uh, to just uh, catch a glimpse of the Emir and he came out uh, this morning waved at the, the locals here uh, before he was taken away by uh, uh, security operators at some of his close eight out of uh, the uh, out of uh, this uh, local local town that is uh, an agrarian community here in Nasarawa state and this town is also uh, full of um, history uh, precious uh, and for me, from the pictures that we saw earlier, there seemed to be a heavy presence of security operatives. Does he pose any threat or danger? Well, I don't think um, he is a security um, threat to the people around here. What we gathered is that uh, his comfort is uh, being put into consideration and that uh, this resident here is not too uh, comfortable for him and that is why he has to be taken out of here. When he was uh, deposed uh, yesterday, we learned that he will be brought here to local town and when he arrived here, we also we, they tried to put uh, everything in place to make sure that this place is made comfortable for him. As we speak, work is still ongoing inside here. They started uh, a renovation of this uh, building here but you know, despite all of that, the place is still not considered uh, conducive and comfortable enough for the deposed Emir of Kano State. Uh, and that is why he has been taken out of here. But we don't know where uh, he, will, he is headed next. But very soon we hope to get that information. All right, so how are the people of local who are now at the center of this intense media attention um, dealing with what we may call intrusion into um, their peaceful life? Well, it's mixed feelings for them as uh, they are happy that uh, the email, the, the post email of Kanu Mohammed Sanusi II was brought uh, to their town. And again, uh, a lot of them are sympathetic with uh, the fate that befell the, the post Emir. But one thing is for certain, these, uh, the fate of Mohammed Sanusi II has brought um, this town, has put this town under the spotlight. You know, they say uh, this town is like, almost like the forgotten capital of northern Nigeria. So it is a town rich in history, a town that once used to be uh, the capital of uh, northern Nigeria. That is uh, in, the pre, in the colonial era when uh, the colonial masters met with Emirates from the northern region in this town. And this used to be a transit town for traders in northern Nigeria, moving their goods from uh, one town to the other within uh, the northern region. But they also lack um, basic amenities like electricity, uh, pipe bomb water, a good road. And they feel that uh, the coming of uh, Mohammed Salisi II to their town would again bring government attention uh, to uh, the situation around here. But again, uh, there is uh, already ongoing a huge construction of a road from um, Nasarawa, in Nasarawa to this uh, local area. It was initially abandoned, but the government of President Mohammed Buhari has restarted this project. There is also uh, a major bridge, about 3.4 kilometer stretch of a uh, bridge uh, from uh, that is a local Oweta uh, bridge that again is uh, opening up this town, this um, local town, uh, to the outside world. And uh, they felt that the coming of Mohammed Sanusi II is that icing on the cake for them. But they were sad when uh, eventually the deposed Emir had to leave uh, their town. But they welcomed him well and 
they were excited uh, that uh, the area was in their town and sad that eventually had to leave Precious. Femi, thanks for joining us. We'll come back to you for more updates.